we're gonna get holiday glam hey everyone welcome to my channel it's Rebecca and I am just excited to uh, boost my mood from the outside <laughs> Now I know everyone's going to tell you, you've got to feel good on the inside to look good on the outside. But folks, we are going to just work the other way around. All right. I'm feeling kind of eh, still getting over COVID. I mean, I'm good, but I'm just like not fabulous. And I'm like, guess what? I think makeup is going to help. <laughs> this video is sponsored by City Beauty. Thank you, City Beauty. Um, they are the best. They, they are such a huge supporter of my channel. I have collaborated with them over the years, so I am happy to share with you my favorites from them. And I just, I like that. I like that there's a relationship and you guys know this ain't no fly by night, like, you know, you know. So they are having a 35% off, uh, sale for their website, like, you know, basically the whole website's on sale. So don't, don't wait, do not delay. If there's something you want, now's your time. Of course, I'm also the one saying, don't feel pressure to buy, <laughs> but don't wait because you'll regret it. <laughs> anyway, no, I, I mean, here's the thing. Sometimes through the year we go, oh, when they have a sale, I'm totally getting that lip gloss or that body lotion. And then Anyway, this is your time. So let's begin. Um, yeah, so speaking of body lotion, a few of you have told me that you tried the Body Sculpt Firming Complex, and this stuff is like uh, gold and diamond and some kind of vibranium in a bottle that's magnificent and valuable because that's how it feels when you put it on. Um, I love putting it on my decollete and my upper arms when one all the time like it is not just a one-time use lotion this is a complex with ingredients that um, have cumulative results over time all their products have like instant results that look good and then with consistent use they have cumulative effects um, but this is definitely a very lovely body improvement lotion it's not going to get rid of your cellulite it's not going to shrink inches off your waist it's just a beautiful product that smooths and hydrates and gives such a lovely appearance to the skin so that things look less crepey, veins look less visible. Um, it's just nice. It's just really, really nice. I'm going to take my line blurring wrinkle filler. So you, you folks, you guys, um, folks, I take a couple pumps of this and it comes out like in this bit of, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, it's a very sort of, it feels, it feels like primer. It feels like eyeshadow primer. And I use it specifically on my smile lines right here. And I also use it on this, this, this line right here, which is where my, my eyebrow lifts all the time. We are going to do that. And I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I do have foundation on and I will list that below, but I don't have, oh, and I have eye makeup on that you can see, but I have some other, I'm going to be applying some other stuff uh, so we can, I don't know, just so that I'm not taking forever, right? I'm gonna sound like a broken record, the City Lips. I love this because what it does is you can use it like a lip mask and I was watching Painted by Spencer and he was using these products too. And oh my gosh, so he put this on his model as he began her makeup. And then that way, by the time he put on lipstick, her lips were just full and pillowy soft. So I'm gonna do the same. And this is their gloss. It comes clear and in um, multiple shades. I love it because it's not only plumping and it's a great lip gloss, but for me, it actually, the hyaluronic spheres in it do just give this nice 
fullness to the lips, not exaggerated, not spicy and inflamed or anything like that. Just sort of nice where when you put on lip liner and lipstick, your lines, everything is just kind of ready and smooth so that you don't get any of that cracking, creasing, you know, the, the travel, the products when they travel up your lip line or up your upper lip. Folks, let's do brows. I'll fill you in on what's already applied and I can't see it on my table. It's probably, oh yes, it is right in front of me. This is the e.l.f. Brow Lift. I think this is their Allure winner for 2022. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite Blink. This is the Brow Mousse. I thought it would be fun to, I haven't put this on over the e.l.f. before, so I wanted to see how it worked layered. I think it's good. I think it gives a nice, wispy, you know, like laminated brows, but the brow mousse fills it in. Oh, my nail, my, um, my glamnetic nail pop. <laughs> you guys, funny story. Um, road trip to see my daughter graduate college and we stopped at Burger King off the highway for a quick potty break um, because the Burger King was right next to the gas station and the Burger King was cleaner and I got french fries <laughs> while I was there. So anyway, go into the bathroom and do my, uh, my jeans, my, the button on my jeans <laughs> and then my nail just pops off <laughs> onto the Burger King floor bathroom floor and I just go oh and I pick it up and I put it in my pocket and I actually I think it's still in my coat pocket and I'm just gonna glue it back on eventually but I forgot <laughs> so I have nine nine good nails nine inch nails mm. I'm already wearing the shadows from this palette on my eyes I'm so impressed with this you guys if you find this in your grocery store it's the Technic I, I, it's one of those random kind of like, you know, affordable brands and uh, this is just so cool. So I'm wearing these, these two and that. Those are the three shades I'm using. And then I picked up the NYX Jumbo Pencil. They have a three set, a three pencil set that they're doing for holiday. This is the shade Yogurt. I've gotten this one before and I love it. So I put this on my lower lid and I think it's just a beautiful, affordable pencil. I'm actually gonna go in with my CoverGirl, the matte concealer. I found this, this is the Clean Matte Concealer. This has been around forever. Um, and I just decided I have been enjoying this for doing concealing where I want more coverage and I'm not going to worry about powder so much. So I focus on the inner dark areas of my under eye. Yeah, we had a great, great weekend watching my daughter graduate. Oh boy. Oh, if that's not the surreal, the surrealist of surrealness, you know, you think it's crazy when your kid graduates high school and then all of a sudden they're graduating college. Like what? How is that possible? We stayed at the cutest little farmhouse, uh, Airbnb. It was so freaking cute. So if you follow me on Instagram, you got to see that. I did not vlog. I'm a terrible vlogger, so I did not vlog. Um, but we had a lot of fun and there were, we actually didn't see the goats, but they do raise goats and they had in the bathroom, they have their own um, brand goat milk soap. <laughs> um, but we got to see the baby alpacas. Oh my God, you guys, cute. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to do my trick 
for concealing around my eyes without creating extra creasing. So I've put that City Beauty line filler on and I'm taking the concealer on the back of my hand and then applying it to a brush. And I am going to do the, the smile trick where I'm just applying enough concealer to brighten and clean up, but not, not bog down where I get my most expressive. And this formula, it is considered matte, but it doesn't, uh, it's not crepey. And that is one of the reasons why I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna take a little, little bit of this, um, again, CoverGirl, because I like to just do this. And that's it, that's it. Now, another trick that I am going to share with you is that make sure if your mascara smudges, especially on the top lid, you must powder first. So even if you're wearing cream products on your lids, put a little bit of translucent powder or finishing powder along like here, okay? Because what that's going to do is make sure when you start blinking and putting on mascara, it's not going to transfer up there. Oftentimes, I think what happens when our mascara smudges is because it's picking up oils from around our eye area that we didn't take care of first. And so it just kind of introduces a more emollient texture to the, the, the lash surface. And that's what encourages the smudge. Um, I mean, there's a number of reasons your mascara can smudge, but that's been my my help. Uh, City Beauty also makes a mascara. I didn't, I don't know if you knew that and it's their Beyond Mascara and it has a lash serum in it. So it's very uh, nourishing and I am going to something else to do if you want to make sure that just you don't have any kind of gaps and also to just give your lashes a very nice dramatic look. You want to put the wand at the base and just sort of wiggle and then comb up. And then you can even go in with a variety of, you know, brush strokes, etc. Blink, do whatever, even, oh, oh, see, look, that's me. That's me making a mistake when I get that on there. Oh, such a klutz. Um, but anyway, sometimes I do this, <laughs> but you really just, if you focus, kind of deposit the product, wiggle, and then do the rest, make sure the base of the lash is all, all distributed. And then you can do whatever. You can even stick on false lashes. It's up to you. Yeah. I'm going to take this palette and I'm going to go in this kind of middle shade here with a, um, eh, I always call these like stubby brushes, but just something, you know, shorter and dense. And I am going to also, this helps just kind of give you extra extra oomph, but not uh, kind of clean up, kind of kind of get rid of any creases. I'm giving myself sort of a, a smoky eye, not too smoky, not too Wednesday Adams, right? 
Oh my gosh. That show, everything about that show is everywhere. I love it. And then, you know what? We deserve a little brightening on the inner corner. So I'm gonna take this sparkly, just bright, just bright. Oh yeah, oh yeah. How can you have a holiday look without some kind of inner corner glisten, right? All right, I'm gonna take me a little Wayne Goss powder. I like to use both. And I am gonna just set everything. Okay, I have a kind of fancy product that I wanna give a first impression of. Jouer has their limited edition. This is, uh, they always come out with a limited edition product this time of year. Christina Zilber, their creator is, um, her birthday is in December and she likes to make something special and then donate the proceeds to UNICEF. This year it is a three in one bronzer blush highlight. What? And the packaging and everything is gorgeous. So you get little velvet pouch. It's called a menage a trois. It is a butter, bronzer, blush, and highlighter. One shade, all skins. Look, look at that. Beautiful packaging. Everything is so beautiful. So three in one products in this guy. I'm gonna try two kinds of brushes. I'm gonna try a really cheap wet and wild brush. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> the side of me is looking a little pale. No scent, talc free, even has like vitamin something in it. Vitamin E. <laughs> I'm all. <sighs> okay. Mmm. Oh, oh, she's pretty. Hello. I bought this. You guys, I do. I have an affiliate with Jouer. You know, I, um, they send me PR, but I bought this because I didn't want to wait. Now I'm going to use a fancy brush and this is my Wayne Goss brush and it is natural fiber. And I'm going to just see, I kind of cheated. Sorry. I, I got a little excited and I went to the other side. So we're going to do this. Ah. Oh. Just as it works both. So sometimes I get scared that, you know, a synthetic fiber brush is going to pick up too much product, make it look patchy. Um, sometimes natural fibers do just, a, they distribute the product in a, with a softer touch. Both work fabulous. The beauty about this product is it's very buildable. So you're getting just a nice, Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Not too shiny, not too bronzy. It's, it's, it's just a balance. Mm. <laughs> look at, do I look, I just, this is like vacation, vacation in a compact. Wow. Okay. It is time for lips. I'm going to wipe away the City Beauty gloss um, to do my lipstick at least around the, just around the lash, li lash line, yeah, lip line. I'm going in first with Mented in Nude. This is that like, on me, it has kind of a 90s, <clears throat> darker, kind of kind of do that. Do that. Got my NYX Line Loud. Okay, cheeks. <laughs> this is that little smooth whip. 
very peachy. Ooh, it complements my cheeks. It's called cheeks. Oh, I really like that. Because we love her so much. The City Beauty Tinseltown. You guys. Now, <clears throat> is this really much different than any makeup I normally wear? No. <laughs> But I do feel like it's great for holiday gatherings that maybe are just small, uh, you know, just kind of daytime where you feel special, you feel nice looking, just put together. Uh, but it doesn't have to be glitter and fuss, right? So I already feel better just by looking at my face. I will leave my City Beauty code in the description box and the link to follow, which will give you the site-wide discount. Thank you again, City Beauty, for sponsoring this video. Folks, stay well, all right? <clears throat> Hydrate, take your zinc, rest, rest, and uh, there you go. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I never wave. What's that? Is that going to be 2023? Am I going to start waving at you guys? <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.